and part of the work, all hell broke loose. And what do you think, what do you make of a president using the church? What is he doing? Really as, See, it's crazy shit. Tool, Trump um, does. Uh, to make a political point, do you believe that, that he should use a, a sacred space to make a political point um, in front of the cameras and in front of the world? It's crazy shit this man did. It's Some crazy shit. Some crazy shit. Uh, you know, we believe in and respecting the dignity and worth been to the church once, twice, maybe? And um, I believe that that's the only way forward is to demonstrate that um, in, in a bigger way. And what you just described is not demonstrating that. You have said that the church damage can be repaired and, and that you're praying for the country to heal after the trauma of George Floyd's death. What message Trump is crazy. Like to to this is tonight? so fucking amazing. You clear protesters out so you can stuck a photo in front of the church and then go inside and say a prayer and, and, and hold up something and hold up a Bible. Understandably. Um, I pray that the message will not fall on deaf ears. And um, that takes uh, something to change. Because right now it's understandable that people are feeling that no one is listening and nobody cares. What's your prayer tonight? <laughs> I pray for healing. We've talked a lot about sickness in this country because of COVID. We've talked a lot about racism because it is a reality we have to. Um, I want to talk this is crazy. shifting so that our hearts are moving towards the cure, which is the healing that I, I believe is a spiritual person. Learn more. What we, what we have to find, what we have to work for. Change the channel real fast. Hollywood Beach Resort in South Florida. I'm sorry. Go back. I want to go to San Jose Live and Daryl. We'll check in with him now in Dallas, Texas. Ed, what, uh, you're on a bridge. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know what to say. I mean, hey, well, we like the craziest Field person in the world. Just in the West of downtown Dallas, where uh, it is a massive scene. Protesters have shut down the bridge here. Uh, what is interesting is that this started off as a peaceful protest on the steps of the county courthouse here in Dallas, and then just they started marching. Um, and there is a curfew zone that is set up around downtown Dallas. So this is Dallas, the Texas. I'm watching now. The edge of that uh, the protesters zone, shut down a bridge. Onto this bridge. And, uh, and that is where they were yeah, met by yeah, they don't care about no curfew. Law enforcement officers so, and these protesters. It is essentially uh, almost like a, a DPD a in the house. At this point, as you can see, the protesters start taking here pictures, on the ground, hundreds there. of officers have detained many of they these uh, protesters. They don't give a fuck. They go lock you up. Uh, most of them DPD, are get them Other, DPD. Others uh, here at the end of the bridge are still being processed as they are being detained here on the bridge. That is what Dallas police are saying. That this bad. bridge is essentially shut down as these protesters were moving uh, peacefully throughout much of the evening. There was a confrontation here. Tear gas, so kept uh, going, going tear home. gas canisters were fired so off home. Uh, here, Don, as the officers moved in from the west side of the bridge. Uh, safest place to be is right here at the house. Them, and the showdown happened here in the middle right here uh, at the of house. this bridge. And this is Chilling. where it has all come to a, a head. Um, from what I can tell, I don't uh, get any sense fuck that uh, people were injured tell them uh, in fuck this Trump. confrontation. Fuck uh, the Trump. protesters are peacefully sitting down. They've been detained. This group you see just beyond uh, the, the, the ridge here, the, the landing, this is on the other side of this fuck highway, Trump. Uh, is where Doing most of them thing. are being uh, seated. Um, I presume... That there will be a uh, large truck to to gather and, and, and move these protesters away from this bridge. See some of the As I mentioned off the top, there's a curfew in place that was in place at the end of it started at 7 p.m. Central Time, but that is only this is some of the rest being made in Dallas of downtown with Dallas. DPD. We are outside of that uh, curfew zone that was set up by the city of Dallas earlier or yesterday and is extended into today as well. Uh, but that is the scene right here, Don, where this bridge completely shut down uh, by the protesters and in the process of being detained. So I have a quick question for you. If this, if this is outside of the curfew zone, were these protesters peaceful? We're, also, we're, we're looking at pictures now. Uh, stand by. Uh, stand by and don't go anywhere. We're looking at um, uh, pictures in Los Angeles, a police officer um, chasing someone uh, through an L.A. neighborhood. Um, the officer running there, losing his cap, the protester um, running, mask on, losing his um, 
his property as well. And there you see the police officer. Ooh. Police officers caught up with him. The purpose is like to hurt. hit the bumper of that car that must have hurt. And they are putting those zip ties on. on that looked like it hurt. Or her, it, it, looks, it appears to be a him from this vantage point, but I don't know. I'm just going to say him yeah, for now. Should be running from the police. Um, but this is uh, one of the scenes, one of the conflicts p uh, playing out in cities all across That's what the they get. Should be um, running from the police. Stupid motherfuckers. Should run in front of the police for if you ain't got nothing to hide. I can't tell. This is, these pictures are being controlled by uh, our affiliate chopper, KTLA. And so they have control over the, uh, the images. Should run in front of the police for. Uh, and zip ties there as well. Uh, and so, again. Should run in front of the police for. That's playing out. And there, if you, next to that police car, you'll see someone else on the ground. Uh, that was just. It's just, uh, and they just sit up. This, the possibility here, the probability, I should say, is probably looting. She ran in front of the police for huh? um, no reason. No reason, no. Yeah. Sure, but I don't see a crowd of people. I don't see people holding signs. I don't see a group of people uh, kneeling or chanting. So, gotcha. Got him. We will say that's the problem. Bad boys. Back to Bad boys. Ed Lavendera. What you gonna do? My question. Ed, what you gonna so, do when they come for you? Of the curfew zone, were these protesters peaceful? And if they were, then what did, what did they do to be detained? Well, this, to back up a little bit here, Don, this started about a half mile away from here. This is where they had been doing a Boogie peaceful, Dabber, uh, yes. the, the peaceful protest, and then they just started marching down the street. We don't know the yeah, exact they people to jail, uh, right. for uh, what the official Locking reasons, I should say, for why they're being detained. But I presume it's going to have to, it's going to be uh, related to um, marching on the, the, the public up. streets here and essentially uh, blocking traffic onto the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge where we're standing in the middle of right now. But we have not heard any kind of a, a official description from Dallas police or uh, uh, Texas Department of Public Safety, which are the state troopers uh, here in the state of Texas. And I should point out uh, busy, busy. that since Got the police all over the place. All over the country, busy, busy, busy. On Friday night, extended into Saturday That's night as well. Sunday night was by and large extremely peaceful and quiet. Thousands of state troopers and Dallas police basically surrounding downtown Dallas and blocking it off to protesters. Uh, today, those, and that was an area that was shut down by the curfew yesterday, and that's why you saw the protesters today gathering outside of those curfew lines um, and doing their protest earlier today. Uh, just, busy, just a busy, short busy. while ago, and this uh, protest had been marching for uh, so I guess they're not delivering my package. Eh? About a half hour, uh, I mean, uh, about a half mile. In fact, we can turn around here, Don. You can see uh, the Reunion Tower Mall. That you, you know, the the, the iconic uh, downtown skyline image. That building that you might see the shadow of right in front of that building. That is the county jail and the county courthouse where all of this started. And they started marching down the street here to the left, and then wound their way up here. Onto this bridge where everything has now been shut down. Don. Ed Lavendera following the breaking news for us in Dallas, Texas. Ed, we will check back. Stay safe. The president threatening to invoke military force. Yeah, and see, this is right here. Down on the protests over the death of George Floyd. The former NATO Supreme Allied Commander weighs in along with former police and Secret Service officials as we watch these pictures from Los Angeles. A very heavy military Man. force. Man, they got a deep out there. On the ground there. And out here in L.A. We'll be right back. So yeah, we we do a bit here in LA. While you do your part to beat coronavirus, American Police everywhere. Police doing their thing. Bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Oh man, hell of a couple of weeks, couple of months. I love a couple of months. I'm Randy, and I'm Dan, and we're Bombas. We sell socks, but not this one, because this sock is designed to be donated. Socks are the number one most requested clothing item in homeless shelters. So for every pair of super comfortable Bomba socks, to to socks we donate this pair to someone in need. Place this order. To you, we just donated Put some on mass. Which makes this the greatest sock never sold. Give a pair when you buy a pair. 20% off your first order at Bombas.com. See what I'm going to do? 
I know I'm gonna make some miles when they come. Folks come right around the tent, but not sooner. I already ordered my stuff. Trying to get that money. Trying to get that money, 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 money. Faith over fear. All the parts that you need to keep her on the road. For work, for school, everywhere you go. But sometimes they can be hard to find. Oh man. I'm sleepy. I need to be laying down and go to sleep. They don't even say I'm for delivery. Find joy. Eleven minute video. Find things to share. Find connection. You can find it all. Alright, subscribe to my channel. Holla back.